and on for about uh, less than a year, about half a year. And, uh, and, uh, uh, and what do you think of his musical talent? And what do you, oh, go ahead. Oh, about his musical talent? Mm -hmm. He has an immense musical talent. He has a great capacity for uh, knowing a lot of the songs and knowing how to sing them in the proper manner. How many of you know Larry Brown? Uh, ever since I ever since I booked him into uh, the uh, Texas Tea House in Ocean Beach in 1982. My name is Nora. I'm a college student. I go to UCSD. How often do you come to this fine establishment? I come here every Monday night because my roommate Larry hosts open mic night here. What's it like living with the legendary Larry? Well, I was legendary. Yeah, I guess I guess he really is a legend in his own time, especially in San Diego. Um, well, Larry isn't really home much. Open mic night's a beautiful thing because it gives people an opportunity to get up there and um, show their stuff regardless of quality or quantity or anything like that and Larry facilitates it in a very and, um, beneficial manner. It's a good situation for, for, for all kinds of weird ideas, some of which are people that have ideas and haven't figured out how to get them into the regular music market and some of which are people that have been in the business for 20 years and are looking to do something different or looking for musicians or whatever.
I've been playing guitar for about 20 years. I've been performing in San Diego for about six. All right, and where, where were you? Where else do you perform? <laughs> Every you Thursday at North Park Coffee. Okay. Uh, I used to play a lot on UCSD campus, but the mandolin player, he's a Johnny shot, he's really good. What do you think of the uh, music scene here? Uh, I don't know. Inspired young musicians. What do you think about the music scene here? Well, you're kind of instrumental in right? trying to promote it through the career. Yeah, that's, that's the whole idea behind these open mics, just get people out there, promote music, promote local music. That's why I'm doing it. <laughs> I've been smoking since I was junior high, back in Virginia, that's tobacco country, they encourage you to smoke. <laughs> that's like, I should quit though. I've been drinking for, since I was a senior in high school, I have a six inch dick. Um, <laughs> uh, What's your favorite drink? Beer and tequila shots. Together? Boilermakers, yes sir. I don't like mixing sweet stuff in my alcohol. Just straight booze and beer. Shine. Hi there. Be no press here tonight. Where's my You were lied to. Ask me a question. Any question, I dare you. Um. What's your favorite instrument? Guitar. Is that how you hold it? Yeah. Just like this. <laughs> oh! This is Nora's doll. She got it from an Edward Corey book. She made it herself. That's an original. She made it herself. It's. It's beautiful. It's Something a, you can hit. Yeah. And so what, it take, what does it take to be a rock star? A care and an agent. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have an agent? No. You have hair. Well, well, probably not the right kind. I can't go like this, so... Yeah. So, um... How long have you been playing? I was about 12. Who do you think is the best musician in San Diego? <laughs> oh, there's a plethora of good musicians in San Diego.
play in front of people. And so it makes a big difference. You know, you can play in your garage a lot, but you come out here and you play in front of people, and uh, hands start to shake. You start forgetting your songs, so you have to uh, get over it. Yeah. <laughs> what camera? Go away then, damn you. Go on and do as you please. You will not see me again. I'm undecided, but it has been divided. I'm upset. This is actually an original hairstyle I came up with on this for a moment because I knew that I was going to be filmed and I didn't want to look immoral. Um, well, compared to other other cities, what do you think of like the music scene in San Diego? Well, this is a trick question. Everybody always asks this trick question. There ain't no place to play. There's lots of musicians that don't want to drive to LA because they're sick and tired of the fucking LA scene, and and so therefore you have all kinds of talent and no place to work. Yeah. Well, don't you think it's getting bigger or getting better, perhaps? It's cyclical. Hopefully, this time the cycle, instead of going back down, will go up. Oh, really? Has it, has it boomed before and then come down again? Well, sure. 1984 or 5, with the, the, well, the bee farmers got the hell out of town, finally, and, and a whole bunch of things have been happening for about five years before that. All sort of peaked around 1985. That was the year I left town, but that makes sense. I'm in San Francisco. They went out of town, and and the scene was like in top form. And then, then a couple of clubs closed. A couple of people didn't want to cooperate anymore. And then it goes back down. Now it's coming back up. Cool. But it says something that the most important club for playing alternative types of music happens to only seat 75 people. That's this place. Yeah, that's this place. The amount of good talent in this town that, that, that uh, seems to have gone underrated for so long. You know, everybody wants to get a bus to Hollywood. I don't quite understand why, because it's happening here, as you can plainly see. Yeah, there definitely is something happening. That's what brings me to San Diego. How did you hear about this open mic now at the Casbah specifically? Uh, it's, uh, it, it travels along the grapevine. You know, uh, we've done open mics from uh, New Jersey to uh, the Bagot Inn in Dublin to uh, Moles in Cornwall. You name it, we've been there. And, uh, you know, news travels along the grapevine. I'm pretty fast when there's something good happening. And so what, what is your musical claim to fame for those who may not know? Um, <laughs> what is your fame? Our, our capacity for drinking alcohol. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Alright, so well, the fact that we can tune our instruments <laughs> on a good night. That, that kind of I think there's a lot of potential right now for people who are trying to um, who are uh, trying to make a statement, who are trying to avoid making a compromise, who are not satisfied with uh, the stuff that is being uh, shoved down our throats uh, from the radio and the press and the TV. Uh, God damn it, it's like, a, it's like an old ghost train or something. Every other minute there's another gargle that pops up out of the woodwork. And uh, to be quite honest, you know, uh, uh, here on the, on the open mic scene, and uh, it's real healthy, man, and, and I feel good. 
Good. Any parting words for struggling, starving musicians? A little bit of warning. The acoustic terrorists are on the move. We're looking for you! My name is Frank Drenham, and uh, this is this Patrick Mr. Dennis. Patrick Dennis. So we're called the Homer Guns, with two ends. And, what's, two and what do you think about San Diego, about the scene down here, and like anything fledgling music scene? Slowly rolling. There's a lot of great music down there. A lot of great music. Great musicians, acoustic bands. Do you think there's some potential? Shit. I think there's some potential for uh, you know good things coming out of this place. Definitely, yeah. There's a lot of great stuff down here, but nobody pays any attention to it. I talk too much. I butt in all the time. Right. Shut up. Nobody pays any attention to it. Not the people here and and uh, the record industry doesn't pay any attention to it. You know why? I mean the Athens of the worlds and the uh, what's the Seattle thing? Seattle. <laughs> Hey, you know, it's hip, and the thing is, the reason it's happening is because people made it happen, you know? And the way I figure is, uh, if we make it happen here in San Diego, it's going to happen. You think that can, yeah, that absolutely. We, uh, we just started doing a thing recently, every Tuesday night at the uh, Camelot Inn in uh, San Marcos. Every Tuesday night, we call it the Acoustic Coalition. And what we're trying to do... people together, playing their music to as many people who come to see. We're trying to get a regular thing going so that the scene starts. Uh, acoustic are, are like record people looking at it, you know, like... They're gonna. They will. They will. Better yeah. believe they will. And if they don't, we're gonna make the records ourselves. So if... But if you stay poor for the rest of your life, we'd be happy anyway. We're gonna make them do what we want to do. Absolutely. That's right. That's right. That's right. We're gonna make music straight from the heart, and that's the only way we know how to make it. Uh, it's dedicated to any musician in San Diego. Any and all musician and or poet and or artist. And you're just a motherfucker. Yes, sir.